So to, to Kyle's point, primarily Egypt, Syria, mm-hmm. and Jordan. Okay. Three powerhouses. I mean, <laughs> it, again, <laughs> I've heard of Egypt. No, I haven't heard, I've heard of Egypt. <laughs> but, I, you know what? I've heard he, Egypt is in their heyday right now. Like, <laughs> it totally wasn't, dude, that would suck to be born in a country and be like, like, I mean, we can look back and be like, you know, America's like, we were at our peak, like right after World War II. Nobody could fucking touch us in anything. Like, imagine being Egyptian right now, and it'd be like, oh, you know, don't come at me 7,000 years ago. (laughs) (laughs) You don't even know. You know, before the Romans, with their newfangled technologies, bullied us and all that, you know, we were a big deal. Library of Alexandria. This is. Uh, Some some idea, so shoot him in the kneecap (laughs) right away. Yeah. Yeah, that won't work. Yeah. He was coming at me with a scary ball. (laughs) <laughs> Dude, I saw there's been anything in there. <laughs> that's how our cops are too. I saw LAPD. It, you can go to Police Activity, wonderful okay. channel. I saw a uh, dude went at these two cops with a paint roller and they shot him. <laughs> it's a paint roller. If Woody had his had a hold of the reins of this war, exactly. we'd have been in Moscow. We've been he, in Moscow he, last he, those winter. And I'm a pretty good sh- technician, strategist. I've been watching YouTube videos since it started. I'm strategist. Ready. <laughs> strategic, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's sorts. I, I'm pretty sure George Bush used the word strategery. Strategery. <laughs> I'm like I'm like 85 percent sure he said that out loud. I think you're right. Uh, you know, I'm just strategist. A, I'm, I'm I think just he's a, going for. I think he's a silly person. I'm yeah, not denying. Yeah. I'm, I'm so, certainly not. A, I don't know what I said. Certainly not a uh, war criminal. <laughs> 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 the one that uh, mistakes come words like me. <laughs> Hell no, <laughs> no way. I like baseball and charming common people. I mean uh, baseball. Oh, he made <laughs> so much like he got a lot of traction and goodwill based on the idea he'd be nice at a barbecue. What, whatever happens good. is going to happen, and it would continue to happen if we were entirely disconnected from these world away conflicts that don't serve our interests. Now, who's got a problem with geopolitics? All right, do you really want the Ruskies to slide in there and be Israel's friend and arm them and 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 move their missiles into that area? Yes, they're giving them. Russian a white elephant to take care of for the rest of their time. Yeah, they you know what? Got they, they've got a you drain on you want to you want to cause a problem for Russia financially? Make them fund Israel. <laughs> like, <that's laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We, this gets better. We can have them fund both sides. Putin, we have been like doing pretty good with the numbers accounting wise on this war, but we are six hours into supporting Israel and we're running low. <laughs> Dude, that doc is the worst. No, it's I, the weirdest thing. Like. I gave him the money and then he's like thanks fuck you I'm doing what I want <laughs> it is the wildest negotiation I tell you these people really are good <laughs> I left there thanking him my god <laughs> yeah I don't want anything to do with the Middle East it's for well, the birds not, nobody wants you to go luckily I just have to pay for it I- I'd go wouldn't you? No, you wouldn't. They want <laughs> the you to go. Guy. Aren't they you would. ready? No. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. You wouldn't answer the call. I, 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 and, and, and also, like their military industrial base was intermixed with. It's not like they had this big factory over here and like, oh yeah, that's the fucking Mitsubishi factory. That's where all the bombers come from, and it's all in the outskirts of the city, and it's big square building. They had all these workshops like mixed into the every there weren't districts as much as everything was just sort of mixed together so there was be a house here and next to it there'd be a shop that was making wheels for airplanes and then next to that there'd be another house and then checker patterned everywhere so they just burnt it all to your point some stuff has a lot of purposes i i watched the 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 airplane show i can't remember the name of ever the way we were i don't know Did, did he put it out shortly ago anyway they were doing bomber bombs and they're going after ball bearing factories and they said you know what the war runs on ball bearings. Yeah, so do bicycles and strollers. Mm-hmm. But I can still acknowledge how you'd call it a military target. Dude, and the Japanese were going to fight. The scariest mm-hmm. thing to live next to if it's getting blown up. A ball mm-hmm. bearing factory? Like, <laughs> Lord. It's just a, a whole factory claymore. Like, yes. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. I didn't think of that. That is, that is a problem. Yeah. And the Japanese were going to fight man Well, one just another God. horrible day at the ball bearing factory. How could this <laughs> get any worse? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Did <laughs> they make that whistle sound? Is that a real Yeah, thing? we talked about this. They put whistles yeah. on the bombs to scare people. 
Um, Probably not like right. a nuclear bomb. That's you remember that. I imagine no. that is. Well, that scary imagine the whistle was being for small. That bombs. one blew up at altitude anyway, so they wouldn't have heard it coming. Did anyway. Japan hold a grudge for that long at all? I bet they no. did, but like I feel no. like they got Tokyo firebombed and they took like three days off, and they're like, well. It's a rebuild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they got right to rebuilding. It it's crazy. Um then America and, and came it, in with the plan on how to rebuild their economy and they're like, Yeah, we trust you. You're pretty good at economics. They're like, oh followed yeah. it. You guys are the ones with the bombs. You just Well, they kind of followed it. They tried want. to they almost went communist, I think in the sixties. There was a there was a big mm. movement. And that's when you've got that you've probably seen the video, but maybe not known the whole context of when there's a Japanese man speaking on stage. And some dude runs at him with a, I don't know what the word, it's called like a wazakishi or something. It's the short sword that they carry, you know, the, the samurai mm -hmm. carry two swords, the little one. He runs on stage with the little one and kills the fucking communist speaker on stage live on Jap Japanese television. Everybody was watching and that kind of put an end to the, 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 ja the co Japanese communist yeah, party. It's like an iconic picture. The, yeah. the commie politician is like, ooh, yeah. oh, don't stab me. Ooh, and, then, <laughs> and then the other guy's like, I'm going to stab you. Well, I came here for one purpose. <laughs> it was uh, to stab your pinko ass. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Mongolia is a pretty country. That would be, if I, if I wanted to travel to Asia, Japan would be neat because of how many people there are and all their, their cool vending machines and technology. And then Mongolia seems almost like untouched. Taylor, There's only like mail four million panties right to you. You don't have to go to Japan find a vending machine. No, I do. You know, <laughs> okay. I, I have to go. It, it, it's probably like uh, it's like seafood on the coast. It's just better. Like that's mm. that's what you get. You get fresh Japanese panties right out of the vending machine, and then afterward you get yourself a Sprite Zero chill. I struggled with the exchange rate in Japan. I should have just put some a minute into it so that I knew how much I was spending all along. But the exchange rate is like 33,000 to one or 16,000 to one. I don't know. It's something you don't bump into all the time. <laughs> so you get your bill for like hotel omelet and it's 66,000 yen. And you're like, I don't know. I haven't paid 66,000 anything for a while. Is this even a lot? I'm not sure. Yeah. It was. It was. It was so much. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a funny like realization in the lobby where they're like oh no sir your uh, exchange rate is uh, eight thousand yen to uh one dollar and you're like oh these are some expensive eggs like it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, 37 dollars <laughs> for the buffet down is that two eggs this is two right <laughs> oh my hey, I, I remember Japanese eggs for donald i hope he's okay tonight i hope he's with his loved ones and his family uh, I, I bet, bet he's all having a bad Paul night. Son. I, I bet it looks just... like a Coca-Cola commercial from the 1930s. They're all gathered <laughs> around the fire. He's sitting in his big armchair. Little children are, you know, gathered around the on the on the floor at his by his feet. Little little Donald Jr. and Eric and Tiffany and what's the hot one not called? Mila Ivana hot, Ivanka. Ivanka. I always mix it up. Ivana Ivanka Ivanka. Pro probably with a K. The Go hot one. Yes. Oh, yeah. Jared Kushner's over there. On the phone with Israel. Fuck, it's perfect opportunity. When you said the hot one, I should have said Eric. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the ugly of the yeah, the actual like hot a, one's barren. I can imagine Trump being like, he's like, this is a terrible time. I need my family around. Eric, just the other room. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> like, it's just, <laughs> and everybody's fun. Like, they shouldn't, they, there should not be anti bullying legislation for our elected officials. <laughs> they should have to, you know, get in the fucking dirt. Have you Do seen it the, how British the British way? Yeah, yeah, the British, they'll be like, I say, that's an interesting financial policy from an avowed pedophile. <laughs> they'll be like, I say, it wasn't your grandfather, a Nazi collaborator. I, I'm just <laughs> speaking openly here. Well, that is what we're doing, isn't it? <laughs> like, <laughs> we're take the off your again, week. are you? Yeah, she sells T-shirts that say "Bleach Blonde, Bad Butch Body." I messed it up, but yeah, yeah. Bleach Blonde, Bad Bad Built Butch Body. Yeah, yeah there's T-shirts you can buy. She trademarked that. She, 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 like, trademarked she trademarked it. that shit right away. I like a little bit of alliteration or assonance. It, it was. It's a tongue twister. Uh, I, I was shocked she got it out so smoothly, and then and she did have some big old fake eyelashes. She's a pretty good speaker. Fair. Yeah, that's kind of what she does for a living. And uh, but but it was funny to see like. The old white guys be like, what, 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 what now? <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, they're like the white guys in the beginning of like late nineties rap videos. Were like, hey, hold, hold on, what's going on here? <laughs> literally, literally that. 
I like I the caddy. Stand, I want to be right next to Chris Christie, right oh, next to him, in front of him. I hang out with. <laughs> I, I, that's the only way I would join the, you know, the the Senate. He's so sweaty. Right next to Christie. That's that's a man who never leaves the house without a sweat towel. Like, like he's always <laughs> he's, he's always got that got that towel boxers have around their neck. He's, he's somehow he, he hoodwinked New Jersey multiple times. He's like, they're like, Governor Christie, what are we going to do about the salted meat shortage? And he's like, I don't know, but it's a problem that's affecting us all. <laughs> and he's saying that all the crabs in the bay are being eaten. <laughs> that's a problem that America's racing at this time. <laughs> <laughs> what if yeah, that's Jersey's what got a lot of Republican governors, like more than you'd guess for such a mm-hmm. blue state? I think Chris Christie, Whitman, and there's others. I'm lost. He's been but... using all fat campaign funds to buy blue shell crap. Yeah, we look at Chris Christie's uh, <laughs> investment portfolios, and it's like, huh, Red Lobster, <laughs> uh, Little Debbie's. <laughs> He's got his retirement in Entenmann's. <laughs> Because he's fat. I saw some photos of um, black fighters who were fighting for Russia from like Africa and the Middle East and stuff like that. Mm. And it's 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 so weird to me. Some mercenaries. Yeah, yeah. I'm, it's professional army men or whatever. But to see black people fighting in Russia for Ukraine is is or in Ukraine for Russia. That's so weird. Hmm. Why? It's, it seems like a real a, mistake too. Because here's my just a mercenary process. group. They'll probably fight for anyone, right? Yeah, but this isn't your uh, your fucking ecosystem. I feel like if I'm a Ukrainian, mm. Slava Ukraine, and and then there's some Ruskies over there, and we wipe them out, and we see one of them's like, please, please, my name's Pyotr. My please, no. And I'm like, your language is so close to mine. I know what you just fucking said. All right, fucking crawl over here. Don't you move. But if like a black dude pops up, <laughs> no, I'm not taking him. I'm not. He's he's getting it. Let me tell you why. Because he's black. Yeah. No, no, wow. not because he's black. Because he came here from somewhere that's got nothing. Because he's statistically less likely shit. to graduate high school. I see where you're coming he had from. Nothing to do with Thank this shit. Like the Russian guy. <laughs> all right, you got pressed into service. Your country is attacking my country. Your president ordered you. Your people are counting on you, etc. This black dude who came here from Nigeria or fucking Somalia or or somewhere like that. Kill me for a paycheck. You're here for a check. Dude, a guy from Somalia who showed up to fight there would like be in the war zone and he'd be like, you know, this place is pretty nice. (laughs) (laughs) Look at that. There is a building standing right there. (laughs) It is country. No more. Think of my picture. (laughs) <laughs> take my picture <laughs> oh my goodness we're going to get a picture of me next to the building <laughs> they have enough we help as it is. Loop. i mean we kind of have done a loop it's just after you need it <laughs> is that is that what people want my face on a lube container next to them. <laughs> Yes, yes, it is. It's what I Taylor's want. Taylor's old timey sexual fantabulous well, lubrication device. The, you you fought for the cum splatters on the bottle of the lock and load. What would you fight for on the lube? Uh I would fight to make sure that unlike this bottle, that our presence was almost entirely minimized. <laughs> <laughs> The yeah. official, the official <clears throat> lube of we we'd have to just partner with a uh, wet platinum or someone like that. No, I want something like Crisco. Based. We can do better than wet platinum. Crisco. Yeah, I want like a like a like a pomades type substance that you get for like serious like like a fisting cream. No, the what internet keeps telling me seed slippery. oils are poison now. Seed oils are poison. That's what they're saying online. I was watching this thing about they were trying to send a probe to Mercury because they'd only ever sent two, and both of them just did these quick flybys. And what you want is to get the thing to go around and around Mercury so you can test and mm-hmm. photo and map and stuff. Mm-hmm. But it has to be going so goddamn fast when it gets there that decelerating is a problem because they're, they're traveling in toward the sun, and it's so far away. So they didn't know what to do. And this Chinese lady, or her name was Chinese, at NASA came up with this... <laughs> Yeah, her name's like Poom Ting Tao came up mm. with this idea that where 
you wouldn't just go straight for Mercury. You would go around the sun and back to Earth and like this huge pattern mm. where that, that took seven years from 2004 to 2011 where it, it went around multiple planets and using each of them to slow itself a little bit so that it, when it finally got to Mercury, it would, have, it would be slow enough to go into a, uh, an orbit. And it was, I was fascinated by her coming up with that idea and how complex. You should have just shot it a little slower. <laughs> <laughs> My dumbass idea is to approach it while it's going away from you, right? Because it's the relative velocity of the whatever, the missile to the, to the yeah. planet that matters, right? So we just catch the planet when it's coming away from us and... You know, it would suck is if like they launch that and three days later, you know, Xi Jinping comes up and he's like, I come up with even better idea. Like, <laughs> not take seven years. It take two months. And they're like, <laughs> 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 <laughs>